you're back on the floor. So we're going to start off just with some nice little shoulder shrugs. Now when we're doing this, just be mindful of your posture. Your feet are about hip distance apart. Knees are nice and soft, so we're not looking at the knees. Tummy's nicely tucked in, keeping that core nice and strong. And just slightly tip the pelvis under to protect that lower back. We're going to start with some nice arm circles. Forward or back, doesn't matter, we're going to do them both. Nice easy breathing, squeezing in that tummy. Let's take it back. Four, three, two, and one. Let's take his arms out by the side. I'm just going to slightly lean to one side. One arm goes one way, one arm goes the other way. And again, stretching it out. So you just feel it down your obliques, down the sides. The tip of your fingers, right down through those side muscles. Good, put two more on each side. And one more on each side. Keep squeezing those tummy muscles. Now we're just going to open up the chest. So we're going to take it out and then long. So middle, long. Good. Keep those knees soft, tummy tucked in, palms under. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Good. I'm just going to rotate the hips. Take it the other way around. Three, two, and one. Good. We're going to just start off first of all stretching out the legs with some little toe touches. Now remember you might be doing coming to the knee, equally fine. I'm just looking to stretch out the back of the leg through the glutes, squeezing the tummy as we raise that leg. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Nice wide stance, toes pointing forward, hands on hips. Just squat it down, keeping that chest high. Don't need to go down too far. Just warming up the hips, the knees, in the thighs. Good. We're going to do four more here, then we're going to have a little pulse at the bottom. Two to go. Now hold it down here, arms out in front, just a little pulse, nice and gently. Good, not, good, not down too far. We're warming up, can you feel the warmth creeping through those hips? In the groin area, good. Four, three, two, one, and up, and down. I'm just gonna stay here, just for a few more. Good. Now take it a little bit wider, toes pointing out 45 degrees, and then push out again. So we're just starting now with this inner thigh here. Just bringing that into play at the same time. Lovely work, good. Watch those knees, don't let those knees go beyond the front of the toe. We've got four more to go here. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Just shake those legs out. So we should be nice and warm now, but all I would say is just take it gently. We've got lots of repetitions today. We're going to come down on our mat. So if you want to take your shoes off now, you can do. You can leave them on. It's entirely up to you. Have a little drink. Alrighty, we're going to start off in tabletop position today. So, this is always 
a position that we're going to come, oh, it's lost my head. Always a position we're going to come back to today, ladies. So when we talk about making sure that we're stacked, we want our shoulder above our wrist and our knees just in line with our hips, tummy tucked in. And the head is nicely in line with the body. So the first exercise we're going to do is we're going to warm up. We're going to start on the left leg so that you can see what I'm doing. Just going to move back a little. Oh, I know why, because I haven't moved my screen yet. Sorry, I've only got half of me. There we go. That's better. All right, so you know all of me. So we're going to start off with the left leg. Just lean the left toe on the floor. Go back to that posture. And all we're going to do is we're going to rise, pointing the toe and taking it back. Now, if you can, try not to let the toe touch back down. We're trying to keep that leg up. So we're really going to work this glute muscle and the back of the legs. You're also using your core because that's having to stabilize you. Now you are looking front. I'm only looking to the side so I can check out some forms. Those of you that I can see. Okay, so we're going to stay here for a few more. Just getting it nice and warm. There we go. Four, three, two, one. Same exercise, but this time we are just coming a bit forward. We're pointing, we're leading with the heel. So we've tried to keep the toe from um, going back onto the mat, but now we're staying with that exercise, but we're leading with the heel. This is what we did to begin with. We pointed the toe. Now we're straightening the leg and really pushing that heel away. Good, excellent work. Stay with that. We've got eight more to go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then rest down. I'm just gonna change sides. You can come back, when we finish the exercises, you can always come back down into this baby pose. Have a few seconds out, grab a drink if you want to. Just move this up a little bit here. All right, so we're ready to go again. So leg is pointed, and we're gonna start off on the other leg. <laughs> I've got a unit behind me, and it's just in the wrong place. There we go. We're not rushing it. We're taking it nice and easy. Make sure your hips remain facing forward. So everything is stacked, so the leg comes out, and you're facing forward. Good. Just breathe through, enjoy the exercise. There we go. We've got eight more to do here, and then we're going to leave with the heel. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now push the heel away. Good. Still trying to keep that foot off the floor if you can. If you need to have a little rest, just pop the toe down. Take a few seconds and then join us again when you can. Good. Are we sucking in that tummy? Excellent work, good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good job. Just come back, sit down off those heels, on those heels, and just feel that nice bit of relaxation. So, hopefully, these hips now have got a little bit warmed up. You can feel a bit of warmth through those muscles. So, we're just going to come to our sides now. This is just going to give our wrists a little bit of a break, because I know when we're in that position, it can start getting a little bit painful. So, come down to your side, leaning on the elbow, and you're going to come into... If you're on a mat, the back of your heel and your, and your bottom are in line. So basically from here, we're gonna do these clams. So you wanna have these knees bent at the front. Hopefully you can all see this from here. So I'm just on my shoulder, it's stacked beneath my elbow. And I'm just lifting the top leg, squeezing the glute as it comes back. Now I'm just gonna come over and have a little look at you. Yeah, that all looks good. Yeah, perfect. 
Lovely job. <laughs> now you had your um, children with you today, Lisa. How lovely. Good. And squeeze it back. Squeeze it back. Good. <laughs> Is he adjusting the camera for you? Hi. <laughs> Good. Squeeze. Squeeze. We've got eight more to do. Six, five, four, three, two. Now hold it open. Now push it back. Make sure your feet are still connected at the bottom. Really push this back as far as it will go, squeezing it. Squeeze. So you're really squeezing those glutes together. Good, and bring it down. We've got four, three, two, one. Squeeze, squeeze. Keep the feet connected. And then we that on the last eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, and we're going to change. We're going to change sides, so my knees are in front again. So just make sure you get that position. So if you're not on the mat, if you're just on a carpet, basically from behind, your your bottom, the soles of your feet are in line with your bottom. So this way, your knees are in the right position. Make sure your elbow is directly under your shoulder and we will begin. Just have a couple of little practices because sometimes you have to adjust your feet a little bit. So what we're doing here is we're squeezing this muscle in here because we're squeezing that tummy, keeping that core strong. And what I'm not allowing is my knees to come down because once you've done that, you've taken the tension out of this muscle here that you're working because you're releasing the tension. You want to keep that muscle under tension. So we just come down and then about half an inch or an inch before your knees would normally touch, you go back out for the second repetition and repeat. Good. Not too fast, but equally not too slow, but make sure that the form is good. It's all about the form. So if you are struggling a little bit, just slow it down, push it back as far as it will go, squeeze it in. So you're squeezing here in and squeezing out. Keep that muscle under tension all the time. Good. Excellent work. So we're going to start our eight, seven, four to go. Remember when we get to one, we're going to hold it open and squeeze it back. I've lost count. Let's do two more. Two. One, now hold it open and really squeeze it back. Now you should be squeezing your glute muscles together and feel the outer thigh muscle contracting. At the same time, you should fulfill the contraction in your tummy. That's all going on there. Squeeze it in, squeeze it in, squeeze it in. Good, we're gonna do four, four big ones. Four, three, squeeze here and stay and squeeze again. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Squeeze, squeeze all the way through, into the core, through the tummy. And then we've got eight more to go. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good. And then just come back into that baby pose and we will relax. All right, grab a quick drink if you need it. We're back on our, in our tabletop position. So we're back on all fours. Come forward a little bit, there we go, okay. So I'm starting on my left leg. <clears throat> I'm going to take my left leg out so my toe is resting on the floor. I'm going to lift my left leg up. I'm going to curtsy my left leg, keeping it straight behind. 
bring it back to neutral and then take it out to the side. So this is where it starts. Then I curtsy it behind me. Don't let the toe touch down. Back to center, back to the side. So we're just gonna do this in one smooth movement. Now watch those lower backs. If anybody out there has a problem with the lower back, stay where you are everybody else, keep mo moving. This is for people with a lower back. I want you to come down onto your forearms, take your leg out there and just touch down from right to left. That's only for people that have a back problem. Anybody else, I'd like you to stay up here with the leg and take it from one side to the other. So it's almost like a reverse windscreen wiper. So when we do these um, when we're on our backs, we're taking one time to the other. Now you will notice, ladies, hopefully, that we are working our abdominals at the same time because we're having to keep that core really strong. So legs, thumbs and tongues today is, is compound. So not isolating any particular movements. We're doing compound movements. So we're using all those lovely muscle groups all at the same time. What you'll also find here is that your left glute is now, should be coming into play as well. You should now start feeling that warmth in both um, bottom muscles, both buttocks. And as you can see also, as my movement is getting slightly bigger, I'm also using these muscles down the side, on both sides. So that's why when we talk about compound exercises, this is a great, easy, simple one that you can do. And you've got a couple of minutes. Obviously, make sure you're warmed up first of all. You can do them anywhere. Okay, we've got eight more to go. So that's eight, seven, six, five, Four. We're going to go straight onto the other leg, ladies. Two to go. Ready to swap. We're going to change legs now. Here we go. Get your position and switch. Good. So this is what it looks like from the other side. My foot is probably, I don't know, maybe a foot off the floor. I'm not letting my toes touch down if I can help it. But of course, if I need to, I'll take a little bit of a rest. Squeeze it, squeeze it. So you start off with a smaller movement. And by the end of the exercise, you should be having quite a large sweep out and then across. Good. Squeeze that tummy. Excellent work. Some really good forms out there, keep it going. Can you feel the squeeze now in the other buttock? Always happens quicker on the second leg because you've already worked it. So that's good, we know it's working. All right, let's start our eight, shall we? Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and baby pose. Well done, everybody, excellent. Some really, really good forms out there, and that's the important bit. It's all about uh, your posture, thinking about the exercise that you're doing, and almost visualizing those muscles that you want to work. So we're gonna come back down on our side now, ladies. Give those wrists a little bit of a, a release. So here we are again, I'm on my elbow. My legs are out nice and straight and my hand in front is just gonna give me support because what I don't wanna do is rock back or I don't wanna rock forward. So this is a nice long position to be in. <clears throat> I'm going to raise my top leg and I'm gonna start off first of all by bringing the toe towards me and then pushing it away. Towards, push away, so nice and easy. And with all these exercises, when you need to have a little break, what you do is you just bring the legs back down together, have a little break, and then join us back again when you want to. 
We're just going to start off nice and easy, nice and gently. Good. Four, three, two, one. Now, keeping the, keeping the leg, the foot straight, I just want you to pulse here. Good, that's it. Excellent work. Just nice and slowly, we don't need to rush it. It's Monday morning, nobody wants to rush on a Monday morning. And squeeze. Now, should now be feeling it nicely on those outer thighs. If you put your hand here, you should feel that contraction in that muscle. Oh yeah. Now, when it starts getting a little bit stingy, I want you to sing. Because <laughs> singing takes the pain away, apparently. I've read that somewhere, I don't know. In the Beano, I think. <laughs> Keep going. Don't give up. You can do this. Should we do eight? Shall we? Alrighty. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, bring that knee in. Give that hip a little bit of a slap, a bit of a ride. Okay, should we do the other side? I think we ought to, otherwise we'll be ever so lopsided. Alrighty. So we're going to start off in that nice elongated position. This hand, this shoulder is directly over the wrist. So let everybody get into their positions, first of all. Lovely, lovely. Are we all ready? Good. I know some of you might find it easier to come all the way down here. That's absolutely fine. As long as your hip will take it, because obviously you're much lower down. Depends on your shoulders and elbows, etc. So we're in our position. And we're going to start off, first of all, by just... I can't quite see my foot there, can you? So we're pushing the toe away and then the heel away. There we go. Now again, modification. I don't know if you can see my bottom leg is straight. If you want to, you can bend that bottom leg, but you still need to keep this leg off of it. So we don't want our thighs touching if we can help it, because we want this outer, outer thigh here to really work well. Okay, so I'm taking my legs even. Push away, push away. Don't rush it, plenty of time. Nice and easy. Now you'll feel this warmth in this hip much, much quicker. Always with the second leg. So are we ready to start those lovely pulses? Let's do four, three, Two, one, here we go. Oh, this is lovely. So that lovely warmth in that muscle. Now, if you start getting a bit crampy, it starts getting a bit painful, do a couple and then have a rest. Just bring that knee in, place it down on the floor, give it a slap, take it out, good. See what I did there? Yeah, I know, sneaky. Keep it going. Let's pulse those legs. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Oh, I can feel that. Woo! We're gonna start our eight now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And bring it in. Now, if you're like me, you, you suffer from a little bit of bursitis on this side. <laughs> it's quite painful. There we go, we have to do these things, don't we? All right, just give it a nice little slap. And we're now going to have a little drink if you need it. And we're gonna go back onto our backs. All right, so I'm lying nice and low on my back. My legs, <coughs> feet flat on the floor. Hands by my side. And I'm just gonna, first of all, we're gonna hug in. I feel we need a little bit of a hug. And just roll from side to side. Head down, head up, your choice. Roll from side to side. There we go. Lovely, good work. And now we're gonna place those feet and we're gonna push those heels away from us. 
I'm going to hold on. Just put your, your palms flat on the floor so it's nice and central. And we're just going to start off to begin with by pointing the toes. And we're going to drop one leg down and bring it up. And the other leg down and bring it up. So down. Again, don't let the foot touch the floor. It just remains about an inch off the floor. Good. Now stay with that, please. I'm just going to show you a slight modification for those that will need it. We're just going to heel down and up. And heel down and up. Good. So you're going to choose the level that's right for you. So we're really thinking about these abdominal muscles, really working them hard, but we need to, at the same time, protect that lower back. So we need to think, you might do a couple of each, you might do um, some with straight legs, you might do some with bent legs. You choose which one you want to do. We're going to do a few more here. Last four. Three. Two to go. Last one. Now hugging those knees. Good. Now we're going to put the feet back down on the floor <clears throat> and we're just going to come up. It's just some nice little gentle basic sit-ups. Just firing up those abs a little bit more. Good. Really squeeze. Think about this as you come up. Really squeeze it. Good. So I want you to stay here if this is right for you. If we can do a little bit more, I want you to raise the feet off the floor and come up here. So you choose which level you want to do. Let me have a little look at you. Yeah, good. Excellent. Some lovely sit-ups there. Just watch these next ladies when we're coming up. So as we come up, we want to imagine there's a probably a grapefruit as opposed to an orange. And we want to come up smoothly if we can. We want to take this jolginess out. Can you see the difference? The smooth and the jolt. Because what's going to happen is you're going to start feeling in your lower back. We don't want that. So the smoothness is even if you come here. I'd rather that. So we're not hurting our necks, we're not hurting our backs, but we're still working these out. Because the other thing you can do is you can come in together. Come in together and work those abdominals. So there's always lots of different modifications for working the abs. And I always want you to choose the right one for you. So if I'm doing an abdominal exercise and you know that it's not quite right for you for whatever reason, just choose one that you know suits you and just work these abdominals. So we're gonna do last four, because you've done hundreds while I've been chatting. Four, three, two, and one. And hug those knees in. Good. Excellent work, ladies. Now, I know we're going to say goodbye to Louise in a few moments if we haven't already. So, have a lovely day, Louise. See you on the next one. Everybody else is going to come into their best plank position. Because there's nothing finer than a plank on a Monday. That's what I say. So, we're talking about plank positions. We'll just go through a couple. So, this is a plank position. See how nice and straight that is? You can have a cup of tea on that. And people have. <laughs> we haven't got a coffee table. All right, the other one you're going to do is you're just going to drop the knees. So you can see, although my, my bottom's dipped down very slightly, I've come from here and just drop the knees down. So I'm still keeping my tummy muscles really, really tight. 
Still making sure that my, the front part of my weight is stacked forward, so I'm not putting any pressure around the shoulder area. So I'm gonna count down to three and I want everybody in their plank position and we'll hold it for 30 seconds. So three, two, one, plank positions. Good, beautiful. Oh, some lovely plank positions out there, ladies. All right, just squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold. Your neck is relaxed, your head is relaxed. And breathe, remember to breathe, squeeze the tummy. Squeeze through. Four, three, don't let the plank go down though. Two, one, we're gonna open to the side and come back down again. So nice and slowly. Again, you, you can still do this if you're on your knees. I'll just come down and show. So you can still open up from the knee position and come back down. But it's slow, it's controlled, and we're squeezing those side muscles. Good, we're gonna do four more here. And then we're gonna do eight on the other side. Two to go. Last one this side. And then we're gonna do eight on the other side. Don't rush it. Make sure you've got good form. We have four more to go. Last two. Last one. Now back to that plank position and hold. Squeeze and hold. Great work everybody, really well done. Just a few more seconds here. Really squeeze it, come on, make it work. Squeeze, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and back into that baby pose. Good job. Fabulous work, ladies. Fabulous, right. We've just got a few more minutes to actually do some more exercises. So we're gonna work a little bit more on these obliques. So we're gonna get back onto our sides. <coughs> Again, we've got this weight stacked, so our shoulders are directly over the elbows. The legs are nice and long. And we're just gonna lift one leg up, place it down. Good. Four, three, two, one. And we're gonna take it in front and we're gonna push it behind. Good. So we've done a similar exercise to this, but we were on all fours, if you remember. So, different muscle groups. Now, are you thinking about this core? You want to try and just move the leg, squeeze the tummy as you come forward, push it away. Good. Watch those backs. Lovely work. Keep it going. Forward and back. Forward and back. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, we stay on this side. Last two here. And now we're gonna crunch it, crunch it. Good, hopefully you haven't put that foot down yet, but if you're taking a little rest, then of course that's what you do. You have a little breather and then you bring it back and join us again. Good, squeeze it in, squeeze it in, push it away, squeeze it in. Let's make that movement bigger. Push in, push in, good. 
Lovely work. Keep going. We've got eight more here. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Just finish off with eight here. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh, lovely. Change sides. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Remember, we start with a couple of little pulses, not too many. Then we go into the, the bigger movements. <coughs> Hopefully, I'll remember them. Alrighty. Are you all ready? Nice and stacked. We'll just start here. I can't remember what we did next. Oh, yes, I do. We swished. <laughs> we swished. Oh, that was lucky. We nearly got away with that then. <laughs> Forward and back. So I'm probably about, I don't know, foot off the ground with this upper leg. Get some beautiful swishing out there. Look at those swishes. Keep it going. Yeah, if you want to bring it forward. Why not indeed? You choose where you want to do your swishing. You might just want to swish here. All I would say is just make sure you keep the tension in this upper leg. Try and keep it off the floor and try and keep it strong. You are actually locking out the knee. Make sure you don't roll back on this hip. Yeah, you don't want to be back here if you fall over or you don't want to be too far forward. So keep this weight stacked nice from side to side. Good. Now, I can't remember if we pulsed here before we went into our obliques. I don't think we did. Let's do eight here. Want to wing it? Because I haven't written it down, you see. I like to do these on the whim. I find I get more out of it. Last four. Three. Two. Let's go straight into those obliques, shall we? Here we go. Good. Now just check that you're still, you haven't rolled forward and you haven't rolled back. Just check where you are. Get. Push away. That's it. This is a much bigger movement now. Oh, we're doing well for time. This is our last exercise before our cool down. You'll be pleased to know. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's pulse it. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> four, three, two, one. Oh, baby pose. Oh, sit back on those heels. Ah, oh, lovely. Great work today, ladies. Really good work. A little bit of a slap. There we go. Alrighty, so when you're ready, just come up to a standing position. Grab yourself a little drink if you need to. And we're going to do... A nice little warm down and stretch. So what we're going to do first of all is we're just going to do some nice little heel digs because I can feel it. Hopefully you can as well, but my hips have really had a good workout today. My core's feeling nice and strong. And I'm sure my legs have grown an extra half an inch. And about yours, hopefully. Let's take it to the side. Just tapping. Keep that blood rushing around those limbs. And we'll take it out to the side again. Good. Nice and easy. Nice and gently. Ready for some toe taps. We'll do a little bit of a front raise, not too high. Just halfway. Tap those toes out. Good. <laughs> I'm about to go on a seven mile hike in a moment. <laughs> I know, 
Well, poor little legs. Still, they'll love me for it tomorrow or maybe the next day. Four, three, two, one. Okay, we're going to go into a calf stretch. So we're in this position. So our, our front knee stays in line with my front toe. I'm either going to push against the wall. I don't have one here with me. It's too far away. Um, but I'm thinking about my back heel. I'm pushing my back heel into the floor. So thinking about visualize that muscle, really stretching it out, looking ahead. Okay, we're going to change legs here. Directly switch to the other leg. Think about that calf muscle stretching it out. Good. We're going to change legs back into that calf stretch one more time. So from the front view, if you want to, you can push your hands out in front. Now really think about that muscle and try and get it to stretch just a little bit more. I think sometimes when you put your hands out in front, you do get a slightly better stretch. Change legs again. So if you think about it here, get into that calf position, you bring your hands up. I don't know why but I can get a little bit more stretch out of that calf muscle. Equally, if I was pushing against the wall as well, a little bit more. Good, and release that down. Now we're gonna do our, car, our, our hamstring stretch. So I'm gonna support on my right leg. My left leg is straight and I'm sticking out my bottom. Back is straight, chest is high. My toes on the floor at the moment. So stay there and keep with that stretch. I just want to show you a different stretch. Anybody that, that can't quite feel the stretch in, that, in this muscle here, in the hamstring, you can get a chair. It doesn't have to be this height, whatever height is comfortable for you. Pop your heel on it and then lean forward, but keep your back straight. But what you have to be careful here is if your bottom's not back far enough, you're going to feel it too much in your calf muscle. So you have to push your bottom back so you might want to have to be able to hold on to it. Now I can feel it again there. So change legs with that hamstring stretch. I'm going to go the other way this time. So this is my straight leg, my hamstring stretch here. The back of the knee up to my bottom. Back is straight. If you want to lift the toe, by all means do. But as I say, be careful that you still continue to feel it here and not here. Good, we're going to change and do one more stretch. We're going to do two stretches of our legs on each leg because we have done a lot of leg work today. And change. Good, come up gently. We're going to stretch the front of the legs out now. So it's a quad stretch. So bounce on one leg, doesn't matter which one. Grab hold of the ankle behind you. <coughs> and squeeze the knees together, squeeze the thighs, squeeze the glutes, suck in that tummy and lift the chest. Now stay where you are there. I've got a modification for some people who struggle there. Again, get your trusty chair. You can hold on to a wall or something. All you need to do is pop the front of your foot on that chair, squeeze the knees together and then just tilt the pelvis forward, squeeze the glutes. So you will then feel, again, you will feel that stretch up there. So change legs with your glutes stretch. Sorry, your quad stretch. The other thing you can do, again, if you really struggle with that, get on your mat, kneel, and then come back, um, just lean back. And again, you'll feel that stretch up there. So lots of stretches. You do the one that's right for you. When we're doing our stretches, Go back to the first leg. When we're doing our stretches, and I might be doing the, the quad stretch up here, if you know that you've, your quad stretch is better for you in a different way, as long as you're stretching the same muscle, by all means, modify it to suit you. Change legs again. So we should have done two quad stretches on each leg. Lovely. Good, take it nice and wide now. Toes are pointing forward. I'm just going to stretch out 
the inner part of our thigh. Good, lovely work. So we always start off touching the inside of the trainer and then if you choose to, you can then start taking it a bit further, but just make sure that you're not you losing this. This is the bit that you want to be doing. So each time, you don't even have to touch down, you can just reach across. Or you can then grab the back of the ankle, bring the chest down to the thigh and pull down that way. You also get a nice stretch across the shoulders with this one too. Good. Now, stay in this position, keep the knees soft, but the hands on the floor. Now, could be that you use crab fingers, so you could come down to here, but it doesn't necessarily have to have your, feet, your hands down. And then what I want you to do is I want you to tuck your head under and lock out those knees. My feet are about sort of 45 degrees, they're not necessarily pointing forward, depending on how stretchy the backs of your legs are. But again, we want to stretch, we don't want to strain, we don't want to pull anything. So if you're here on your fingertips, that's absolutely fine. You choose which option is right for you. Now soften the knees before you start bringing the feet back in together. And then we're going to roll up really gently through those vertebrae. Come all the way up and around the shoulders. Just give those shoulders a little bit of a bit of a care because we've been supporting ourselves on those shoulders today. Take it forward. So it's always nice to stretch out and work all those muscles. Get one arm across the body, okay with the shoulder. Keep the knees soft at this point still when we're standing with soft knees. Change Get the other hand across the body. Good, put the feet together. We've got a full body stretch, really reaching up, nice and tall, squeezing that tummy. If you want to here, you can have a little flex in the spine, but if you choose to, you can just stay here and stretch fine, nice and tall. Depends on where you want to be. Good. And then just allow yourself to come down, sweeping the hands along the floor, keeping the knees nice and soft. Gently does it. Two more to go. Last one. Take the arms out nice and wide, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Four, three, two, one, and bring your hands together. Give yourself a big round of applause. Well done. Fabulous class, everybody. Thank you 